This short video, Engaging with Employers Online, is designed to give you tips when engaging with organisations using technologies that include both video and chat. But don't worry if you haven't met employers online before. These tips are designed to help you prepare and to increase your confidence. So how do you engage with an employer online? The first step is to book your places onto the presentations and then click to add these to your diary as this will include a link to the presentation and also information on the technology that is being used. Most of the presentations will use Microsoft Teams, though some will be on Adobe Connect and Zoom. So we recommend that you check the technology and add any apps in advance. The way you engage with an employer online will depend on the technology they are using and how this is set up. They'll use either a video, chat function or both. Here are some tips on both using videos and chat functions. So here are five tips from Dr. Jim Ling on using video. So firstly, picture. He suggests that you use a full monitor, ideally on a laptop. But if you're using your mobile phone, that you stand it up against something fixed like furniture to keep it steady. And that you show your head, shoulders, and also the top half of your body so that you use open body language to help create a positive and friendly rapport. And for the posture, that you consider where you will sit and how, and that you make sure it's comfortable, private, and you, that you sit upright with an open posture to facilitate being alert and looking more interested. With eye contact, he suggests adapting a natural look where your eyes may occasionally move away from the screen and that you avoid making fixed or intense stares. And then technology, he suggests that you check the technology and that you familiarize yourself with it in advance and that you consider running a test with yourself or someone you know, when you can also check the post your posture and your picture too. And then for sound, he suggests that you consider using earphones, ideally with a microphone to help manage the sound quality and that you remember to mute when you're not talking, plus that you include natural pauses and that you speak calmly and in a clear voice. Here are some tips when using online chat functions from careers. We suggest that you maintain good relations by being professional, polite and friendly at all times. We also encourage students and graduates to convey the right tone and build a favourable persona by, for example, addressing the speaker with either hi or hello and their name and avoid typing in capitals as this suggests you are shouting. We also suggest using clear and accurate language in the chat and that you avoid abbreviations and any text language. And when asked a question by the employer that you provide thorough responses and that you use this as an opportunity to showcase yourself and any, any of your skills. Finally, we also encourage students and graduates to be prepared by having a note of your full contact details, including an email address and also considering preparing an introduction about you and having a copy of your CV ready just in case. I hope that you found these tips helpful, but for further help and support, please see the other resources available to you. Or if you'd like to book a careers appointment, please visit uclan.ac.uk forward slash career edge and book an appointment with one of the careers team. Thank you and I hope you enjoy the careers festival.